Welcome to Work in Process, a monthly video series that shares the biggest updates of the process industry across Europe and the US. I'm your host, Kane van Heijnen, Consulting Services Associate here at Colas Management Consulting, the process industry consultant that provides engineering and project management services on process investments on a global scale. Today, we will show some more of the most significant developments of the electric vehicle battery industry across Europe and the US. For our first story, General Motors and Samsung SCI announced that they plan to invest over $3 billion to build a new battery cell manufacturing plant in the United States, with the initial production targeted to begin operations in 2026. The plant will have more than 30 gigawatt hours of capacity and will bring GM's total battery cell capacity across the entirety of the United States to around 160 gigawatt hours when it's at full production capabilities. General Motors Chair and CEO Mesa Barr stated, GM's supply chain strategy for EVs is focused on scalability, resilience, sustainability, and cost competitiveness. Our new relationship with Samsung SDI will help us achieve all of these objectives. The cells we will build together will help us scale our EV capacity in North America well beyond 1 million units annually. The company's plan to jointly operate the facility and is projected to have production lines to build nickel-rich prismatic and cylindrical cells. At this time, the exact location or employment opportunity projection has not been announced as of yet. Either way, the number of new jobs in construction and operations are expected to land in the thousands. As customer demand for electric vehicle rises, GM will continue to scale its supply chain operations, including self production and vehicle assembly. For our last story, Renault has entered a long term commercial partnership with French startup Veracourt to produce batteries for the premium and alpine electric models. With a targeted capacity of around 12 gigawatt hours, this should be enough to power over 100,000 vehicles. The cooperation would also make Renault the biggest buyer of the products of Veracruz plant Gigafactory in Dunkirk, which is aiming for a total capacity for batteries equivalent to 16 gigawatt hours. François Cohorst, Renault's Group Chief Purchasing Partnerships and Public Affairs Officer, recently stated, Renault Group confirms its confidence in Veracor and its innovative, high-performance, low-carbon technology. This commercial partnership allows us to secure a long-term supply of electric batteries and to ensure a reinforced traceability of the elements which compose them. It is in line with the ambition of the group and its future entity Ampere dedicated to the electric vehicles and software to control the entire electric value chain. This announcement marks a very important step in the development of Veracorp. The cooperation has also been a couple of years in the making. Given that the strategic partnership started with Renault's group acquisition of the stake of Veracorp back in June of 2021. Since then, Renault Group and Veracar have approved the technical quality of the product, its economic competitiveness, and its commercial production process. These were the biggest updates from the process industry across Europe and the US. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a comment, and a share. If you have an advanced engineering project coming up, CBC provides engineering, construction, and project management services to help you deliver your project on time and under budget. For more information, please visit www.expertisedeliver.com or reach out directly to me on LinkedIn. This has been Work in Process. I'm Yaros Kane from Hanningen. See you again next week.